Uh, Alright, so my first thought... Random thought, unit one, launch, All right. English cast, English, English voicing, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a fan of them, I'm a fan of those guys, so that was really good. Um, speaking of, I kind of preferred a couple of lines in the first round of dub, like on the Blu-ray, in 3.33, but it's not 3.0, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so speaking of English... Oh man, Ray, dude, Ray, oh man, Amanda, dude, nice, very, very good, what the hell am I doing? Yeah, very good stuff, really, really good stuff. I was highly pleased with this, makes me cry and everything, it's very sweet, very cool. I'm uh, gonna give a shout out here to, I'm an idiot and I don't know the lady's name, the, the net Netflix Ray, Netflix Ray, the line... I got lost exploring, that was so sweet, it was cute, but that's, you know, again, that doesn't really relate. Okay, thought two is basically the song that plays, what 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 do we call the Wunder Siege or whatever, you know, when they're going up again against Gendo and the other two ships attack the Wunder, by the way, from now on from now on wonderful is pronounced wonderful in my world and um, yeah that just I'm not a Trekkie but I got a vibe for like old school space shows and movies with that music and stuff kicking in and you know the shields are taking the damage I was just like is, it, is this Star Trek is this, a, is this is this a Star Trek thing I don't know just want to put that out there so that was basically thought number two I believe let's let's go with that that's how serious of a content creator I am when it comes to these things. Thought three. I like it, man. I like the movie. It's it's really really nice. Like it was. Um, it didn't have a single thing that I didn't like. Maybe the one thing where. Thirteen is against one. You know when unit one fights unit thirteen. Maybe I wasn't that keen on the thing that f lands with some people really well, and I'm glad for that. It's not that I didn't like it, just didn't land with me that well. The revelation of, you know, we're not really having a fight, it's, it's, it's the all a mental thing. Like, the sound stage is cool, the miniature stage thing is fine, but when you're in the rooms, I don't know, it just wasn't for me, you know, but I artistically appreciate that, but it's not one of my favorite things. But that's but that's fine. So thought number four is let's go for the ending perhaps. And again, there's there might be a million more of these randos, but uh, again, I'm not I'm not taking this seriously, and I'm not quitting my day job for this. Uh, the ending, I think you can put a lot of reading into it too much into this ending. Uh, what if it's a trick ending? A b I see this as a bad ending. Not as in artistically bad, but bad in the lore. I don't... Like, I think Shinji dies. I'm pretty sure Shinji dies uh, along with Mori, or Mori is in control of everything and kind of blocks Shinji from being a further trigger because they say bye to Asuka on the beach. So, despite they see people on the platform, at the very end, they might not be in the same world, because you know Oscar goes back to the village. You can see that, and again on the opposite side of the platform we are, you know, and nobody's making direct acknowledgement of one another, or nobody's making eye contact with Shinji, for example. Like Oscar's looking down, Ray's back is turned. Kaoru's aware, I guess. Kaoru could be. You know, knowing what's going on, but that kind of puts Mori to the same level of of Kaoru in terms of how influential she is. But that could be the case. I mean, she's she's got glowing eyes of an descendant, so she's got something more than non-aging going on with her, I guess. And again, no one ever questions Mori. Like when she first, you know, when she fights Epic Angel in Unit Two, 
in 2.22, like she doesn't even let anybody speak to her. She never really takes an order. Well, she takes an order from the Wunder crew, so I was wrong on that one. But anyway, so I think it's it could be a bad ending, a trick ending, you know, leaves things open. Stuff like that. Uh, and thought number five. Let's go for what happened in the time skip. Well, it's either... Was Kaji piloting Unit 6? or No, Unit 6 autonomously goes down to the Lilith thing, but then you see Unit 6 with the cut of Lilith head with the mask on, so it could be a number of things. And it's explained or hinted or whatever that Kaoru and Kaji hung out and they were controlling Nerve when Kendo and um, uh, Kozo got taken out. Ooh, look, I called him on his first name. Um, I mean, you know, got taken off uh, of the director's helm. So, so yeah, something along those lines. Like, you know, I'm curious of what Kaji did and how, how he sacrificed himself. Because I don't think he just sat in that, you know, uh, classic, um, you know, plain thing and just like somehow ended the third impact or whichever impact that was so so yeah there's um there's food for thought there you know there's space to theorize there but yeah all in all i'm always curious if anybody watches these and takes what i thought to their channel that's the secret trick here that i'm doing but otherwise yeah messy beaver fan very happy with what we have right now and the uh, bonus thought there you go bonus thought if I was, actually two bonus thoughts, one, people who know better, people who are like, oh, I don't think this is a good movie, and this and that, and I would have done better. Yeah, okay, let's just theorize on that one. Let's, okay, you are getting body swapped with Ano-san, with Mr. Ano, okay? You wake up in Japan, there you are. Do it, ma'am. Let's see what you do. Let's let, go. Make a better Eva. I'm waiting. What are you going to do? You speak Japanese? You know everything that, that, that you should know? You know the people who work with you? You know the studios? You know how to drive there? You don't know anything, man. You're sitting in your room making YouTube videos. Shut up. Um, yeah, that's that, that's my thought on the... I don't think it was a good ending. It was too happy. I did my justification to be depressed and not do anything. Like, no. Be, be, you know, I'm going to tell you what Gendo taught to Shinji in 2.2 to grow up grow up, you know, grow a spine. And um, yeah, that's um, that's my take. And what was the last bonus thought that I had? Ooh, I love it when I lose the plot without a script in these videos, which basically this is the first one of. I guess I'm gonna cut it here. Um, yep, unless if I add the last bit, peace.